Contestant number one, we have Laura. Nice smile. Contestant number two, Thomas. Nice mustache. Contestant number three, Christopher. Nice smile. Nice tie. Laura's going to go first, and she's going to just run away with some easy letters. T, F, an E, R, H, N, A, Y, an O. So some great legwork by Laura there to get basically done. Another feather in your, what is it? People listening at home that haven't seen this clip already, what could it possibly be? A solve. Okay. Another feather in your hat. Oh, brutal. Mostly that's wrong because that's not the saying. And also, T's are already on the board because T, you guessed them. So that's a little bit of a, momentary lapse and it's a bummer because surely it's not going to come all the way back around to laura and she did all the legwork christopher g ah uh, no g oh g no g okay sorry about it i shouldn't even have asked what did he think it was another feather in your bag i'm guessing he thought it was bag i don't know so now it goes to Thomas. But he goes bankrupt, so he doesn't even get a chance, which means it comes all the way back around to Laura, who has another shot at it. Also? Okay. Another feather in your lap. Oh. No. No. <laughs> Listen to how Sajak says no. No. And then Vanna White, I mean, she was like, you know, one step there. Surely she's going to get it. She did not. Uh-oh, so it comes to nice tie, nice smile, good glasses, Christopher again. And he still isn't choosing to solve. He's spinning, risking going bankrupt, and he's going to guess another letter. D. No. Thomas. <laughs> D. No. Thomas. <laughs> You're fucking done, dude. So Thomas, <laughs> again, cannot guess. He loses a turn, so he's just in a hell hole, not being able to participate and watching these two just have no idea what's going on. Brings us back to Laura again, and she's like, oh, my God, I have no idea. Oh, shit, I'm going to embarrass myself. I'm going to go ahead and yeah, spin. Goodbye. Yeah, go ahead and spin. Don't take a random guess. A P? Yes, there's a P. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Solve. I will solve. Okay. Another feather in your map? <laughs> oh, no. That's not a saying. Another feather in your map. I hate, when, I hate when my maps are all feathery. Christopher, it's your turn. And Christopher, he goes bankrupt, but secretly he's like, dude, I'd rather go bankrupt than embarrass myself again. I got no idea what this is. Which brings us back to Thomas, who finally gets a chance to guess. A C. There you go. There you go. Y'all solve. Another feather in your cap. Yeah, there you go. Yep, and they're like, oh, yes, yes. I mean, oh, I think I have heard that. Yes, oh, our bad. Good job, good job. Good job, Thomas. You have a really good job. I thought it was lap or map. I had no idea. That round is over, but it was fun in this sort of perverse way. We'll be right back. In the sort of perverse way... It was fun. I do agree. Another feather in your hat. Wrong. Another feather in your lap. Wrong. Another feather in your map. Wrong. And if anyone is like, well, what does another feather in your cap mean? Uh, I think Native Americans just put feathers in their uh, headbands when they like killed people and it was like honorable and they were like, cool. So there's another feather in your cap. No feathers in these people's caps at all. 